welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. And carrying on from the last episode, as you probably know, we're currently in a very big war. Uh, so it looks like our Sunday today is going to be a very uh, war-filled Sunday. <laughs> as you zoom in and you just see all the enemy armies. Oh dear, um, I really do wonder if we can win this. Uh, we're currently 20,000 versus 27,000 units. That's a very, very, very big difference. Um... Where are all of my army? Okay, some of them are up here, and some of them are in the south. I think these guys are reinforcing, aren't they? Uh, what I'm going to do here is maybe we should hook up uh, with some of these other men uh, and just try and all uh, find a few weaker armies to pick off. However, I feel like as soon as we attack one army, uh, the others are going to jump in. What I might even do here is go down a game speed just because things move so fast. Uh, Angus is under siege as well. Uh, so it looks like these guys are all sieging here. We're also being raided down here. England are raiding us. Okay, uh, that's a reason for war and a grudge in future. Uh, but first, we need to probably focus on our current war. Let's go ahead and move our men up here. We are going to go down the game speed as well. Of course, we can also adopt feudal ways. Uh, but honestly, uh, we need to wait. Desmond is under siege. Is there a civil war breaking out? Yeah, there's some civil war between my vassals. Uh, Leinster has also been sieged. Oh dear, what's happening here? Um, oh, it's all going, it's all breaking out into chaos, isn't it? We're winning the war at the moment, anyway. We're at plus 21% war score. If we can somehow keep winning on war score, uh, then I, I would be uh, really grateful for that. That might be how we win this war. Uh, we have now uh, control of Inverness. That gives us an extra 7 gold. What I might do here with these armies if we take them north we can go ahead and siege this as well uh, ally joins the war countess bjorn fled uh, so she's now joined the war ormond is under siege by king les of wales ah but how is he raiding oh wales and england you're crossing a line here uh, my father may have been seeing things in you, but right now all I'm seeing is aggression. And it's not looking good uh, for the Irish relations with the English and Welsh here. Well, I say the English. There is uh, the leader of England is actually Irish. So, um, yeah, uh, we're having a battle carry out here. This is just some random raiders. Of course, I wouldn't want to be fighting them. However, they uh, landed in the same place we're sieging. So we're going to have to deal with those. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the events of that. We didn't lose any champions. Uh, so that's good. We might be able to pick off this weaker army over here. And be going for a sneaky attack. However, I think the sieges are more important. Um, let's see. We have two sieges going on. Uh, they have two going on. Oh, there's men up here. Is anyone fighting them? I don't believe so. Is this all of our allies? Do we have any other allies anywhere? We should have 19,000 men up here. Uh, it's not 19,000 men. I think we're waiting on some allies to join us. Oh no, we have another 3,000 there. We might be able to sneak off a little battle. How many men do they have? 6, 9, 11, 13, 17, 18. Oh... Because some, how many units are over here? There's a good 3,900 and I can't see how many here. Kingdom of Sweden. Is it actually two separate? It's, it's a bit annoying to click on, isn't it? I think this is just two armies here. So they're missing 4,000 men. Maybe we should go in and attack these guys. I think we might be able to get off an attack here. Oh, but the Swedish are coming over with reinforcements as well. Uh, let's just see. Maybe by the time the other men reinforce uh, from all the way down here, we might have killed enough of them uh, to actually do something successful. Right now, though, Britannia is an all-out war. Uh, this is actually quite chaotic. Oh, dear. Uh, this might not pay off here. Okay, the battle has initiated a uh, faction's been created against us as well your brother high chieftain kafnir created the faction to install high chieftain kafnir of leinster on the irish throne oh dear um of course he would right the battle of peterhead is underway we're heavily outnumbered we need our, our, uh, our reinforcements 
Soon. Soon. Are they not joining us? Please join the battle. Please join the battle. Thank you very much. The queen is in this one. Our champion, uh, Blighted, uh, ripped the head off of one of the other champions. There we go. Uh, very good stuff there. Let's go ahead and keep the game at this speed. Reinforcements are coming, though. Can we kill enough of them before their reinforcements are able to make a big enough of a difference? Oh, I'm not so sure. The battle's looking very even now. Advantage is in our favor. However, the numbers are looking very even. Uh, we do have an event in our council, in our royal court, sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly have a look at this. Uh, finger bones of a high queen. A peddler in a cloak with dozens of baubles and knickknacks sewn onto it rattles up to me. You strike me as a seasoned collector. She pulls out and opens a battered chest brimming with bones from every limb imaginable. I have some of the rarest saintly finger bones, even some foiled in gold. They are sold as singles, but I will grant a special price for a full set of ten. We're currently in a battle, so how am I also here? Hmm. Um. So this is why so many peasants have nine fingers nowadays. Oh. So he's been chopping off the the, pe the fingers of my peasants. Uh, I want an entire forearm. We gain finger bones of a saint artifact. Uh, no, let's not do this. Uh, now we know who's chopping off the fingers of my peasants. I'm not very happy with that. Let's get back to the Battle of Peterhead. This is the biggest battle in Ireland's history, at least numbers-wise. It's going to be interesting seeing the recap of this. And it does look like we might have the victory here. Just as some reinforcements are coming. Um, let's go ahead and pause the game. A lot of pop-ups. I'm going to put this out of the way. It's kind of in the way. Um, well, enemy combatants captured. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened here. Uh, we killed at least one of our champions. Wounded another. Killed another. Uh, one of ours was wounded. My son and heir wounded one of theirs. Killed another two. Wounded another one. Killed another three. Wounded another three. Uh, two of ours got wounded. One of our champions was also killed. Another wounded. And then plenty of prisoners captured. So overall, I think we came off much better in that battle, did we not? We're still outnumbered by 4,000 men. Uh, but before, we were outnumbered by 7,000? Maybe more? So we've actually done really good uh, there. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our new prisoners. Uh, this guy, Orthodox Mogia. Uh, we're going to move you to the dungeon so he can't communicate with the enemy. Uh, same with this guy. You're going to my dungeon as well. Your Catholic check. Uh, you're also going to have to go to the dungeon. And you are... Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Uh, but we know that these guys uh, were all in the enemy army. So we need to keep them in the dungeon so that they can't communicate uh, with the enemy here. Now we still have... About 14,000 men. We could go ahead and attack these, this here. Uh, these forces. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, there's another battle taking place. Um, are all of our reinforcing here? Um, okay, we got another uh, battle. Uh, we've claimed some additional taxes thanks to my uh, steward there. Let's see. We didn't lose any champions, so that's good. Now, I feel like these guys are going to come back and reinforce. This could be a good opportunity to get some sieges underway. We can bring back up uh, this menu back up now. We could also go and replenish as well. However, should we use the tempo to go in ahead and attack? We could join these forces here. If they last long enough, uh, we might be able to get in another... Uh, victory here because these forces are retreating quite a way away uh, so let's go ahead and try and take advantage of this we'll put back the, the game speed on the normal speed here oh strategical impasse i am sitting around the map table with high chieftain valdemar and high chieftain kafnir discussing our strategy for the ongoing war well kafnir i'm not listening to you because you just you you're trying to overthrow me um yeah Valdemar bangs his fist on the table and loudly proclaims we should charge the enemy directly and crush them with the sheer might of our armies. While Kafnir explains how we need to watch what our foes do and respond accordingly. It is my right to decide our ultimate course of action. Well, because of my martial skill, I can actually employ both strategies. So we get enemy fatal casualties attacker advantage. 
And also enemy defensive advantage, minus 25% and movement speed. Um, yeah, let's go ahead uh, and employ both strategies. There we go. We're going to turn down the game speed a tad as well. Uh, we are now involved in this battle. King Helgi is here. If we're lucky, we might be able to kill him in the battle. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get that lucky though, are we? We have a new guest. Uh, my prisoner, Prince Lunitka, has died in my dungeons. Oh, sucks to be him. Right, let's look at our events. One of our champions did get wounded. That's a shame. The war school, though, is very much in our favor now. Let's go ahead and look out. What is Wales doing over here? Hmm. I think now would be a good opportunity um, to do some sieging. Uh, so let's... Oh, wait. Kingdom of Wales. Oh, dear. Uh, let's go over here and siege this, I guess. For some reason. Wait, why are you now focused there? Are Wales adamant on starting a war with us? They want to fight us? They're sieging... They're sieging the lands we want as well. Okay, I'm a bit confused what's happening now. Um, another prisoner has died in my dungeons. There we go. Uh, sucks to be him. Now, what I might do here, we don't need everyone to siege. We could go ahead and fight some more battles. I'm really annoyed that Wales has decided to siege this. Unfortunately, though, um, maybe we can go ahead and send these three armies over here. And then if our allies also join us on this march, um, if they do attack us, we should be okay. Uh, we would outnumber them. There's another battle going on over here as well. Wales is now getting involved in the fight. And my niece has been taken prisoner. That's not good. Uh, we can get a new le dynasty legacy though. So we continue going down the kin one. Large skilled families where members aid and support each other. If we get close bonds, we get plus 10 close family opinion. Plus 5 dynasty opinion. And plus 30% uh, personal scheme success chance against dynasty members. I think I will go ahead and get this and then look at the last one. No prowess loss from age and more skills with age. That sounds very strong. Uh, so let's go ahead and get close bonds here. We will unlock this. There we go. Our dynasty is growing. Uh, we're currently reputable. And it looks like we are going to be able to siege in these lands as well. Uh, so that's nice. Let's actually take one of these armies up here to siege. And then another one of these armies we can take all the way up here to siege. And suddenly, uh, we're actually sieging uh, a lot of different castles at the same time. The enemy is marching back towards us, though. So we're going to have to be careful of this. I think the second big battle is about to go on. Uh, it's about to get underway, isn't it? I think we need to send all of our men in uh, for round two. Before the Swedish come, actually, we're going to try and attack them before the Swedish reinforcements arrive. If we can get another victory here and wipe out some of their men, that could be very beneficial. A notable guest has arrived. Unfortunately, we don't have time for this right now. Once again, we are leading the forces into the battle. Hopefully, our reinforcements get here somewhat soon uh, because we are heavily, heavily outnumbered. And we are wounded right now. Oh, dear. Uh, my court chester has died as well. This is, uh, things are not looking good in this battle. Our reinforcements taking a long time to arrive here. Hopefully it's not too late. And our physician has actually healed us. Uh, so that's nice to see. Let's go ahead and unpause the battle. I think we might actually not have the men uh, to win this one. We definitely don't have the advantage right now. Master of the horse position has been vacated. Amidst the chaos that engulfs the hills of Badenoch, I attempt to catch my bearings. Across the field, I spot Kaffel desperately fighting. Swedish pikemen are slowly surrounding him, his exhaustion only too clear. The glint of a sword suddenly catches my eye, and I watch as Chieftain Summer, son and heir of Grand Prince Janos, delivers the vicious death blow. I could not have saved him. But no parent should outlive their child. Oh dear. So my second son, I think that was, joined us on the battlefield. And unfortunately he has been struck down in the battle against the Swedish. That could prove very, very, very costly there. Uh, Soma will not get away with this. 
We become rivals. And unfortunately, we do become stressed as well. And there we go. Chieftain Soma there is now our rival. Now, unfortunately, I think we're going to lose this battle as well. Um, it doesn't look good for us, does it? This could be a really bad turning point in the war, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Amidst the chaos that engulfs the hills of Badenoch, I attempt to catch my bearings. Across the field, I spot Beard desperately fighting. Swedish pikemen are slowly surrounding him. His exhaustion only too clear. The glint of an axe suddenly catches my eye. And I watch as Earl Ivor, nephew of King Helgi, delivers the vicious death blow. Two of my sons now lost in the war against Sweden. Earl Ivor does become my rival. And we also gain a stress level as well. Oh, this is, uh, this is intense stuff. I think I need to go ahead. My player Aaron's son, he has 29 prowess. Do I risk him in the war? He does have a son. 29 prowess is impressive. And I think we need him in the war. Um, what kind of leader would he be if he didn't fight? We need more allies. Desperately. We can neg negotiate an alliance. Uh, only 300 men. And we gain stress because we're shy. I think this battle is lost though. Uh, let's see. Inventory artifact destroyed. Okay. Uh, mental break. Torrential grief. Life has never been easy. But it feels like the loss of my son Baird has pushed me over the edge. I still remember him as a baby. So tiny. So fragile. Despite that he survived. Growing up. Growing older until now. When he suddenly stopped. I had so many hopes for his future. So many things I wished to see. Which can now never come to pass. Uh, it is hard, but Magnus can help me get through this. We gain the trait Confider. In sharing her problems with a close confidant, Scafak has become able to manage life far better than she could alone. I think Magnus is my husband. Yeah, Magnus is my husband. I think that makes sense. We, I should confide in my husband, right? Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and speak to Magnus here. Uh, we gain the trait Confider. Hopefully that can help us lose a little bit of stress. In fact, if I go down here... Uh, maybe it's not showing up yet. Uh, let's continue the battle. Uh, yeah, we're going to lose the battle. Oh, this sucks incredibly. And it seems our champion has also been wounded there as well. Um, we're going to have to retreat from the battle here. And some of our allied combatants were captured and slain. Uh, we can go ahead. Oh, we gained a level of devotion. We're now a devoted servant. We can go ahead and pick up another perk, though. Number of knights plus four. Let's uh, do that. We do need more knights or champions for the battles. Now we go ahead and look at this battle. Uh, wounded one of our champions. We wounded one of theirs. One of ours was wounded. Two of our champions wounded there. One of them, my son, or killed, sorry. One of our vassals captured. Um, another one of our champions killed. And we were wounded. Of course we were healed though. Uh, that was not a good battle for us. Uh, and I think that might be a turning point in the war. We are... Uh, the numbers aren't too bad actually. If we go ahead and get some more soldiers. We can get another 4,000. I think we still might be okay. Now... Let's go ahead and see what's popped up here. Um, we can call on our ally house members. No one else would join wars, will they? We don't have many champions. I should probably go ahead and invite champions. Uh, talk confident. Uh, let's notify when this is, uh, becomes available. Let's go ahead and invite champions. Because we desperately need some more men that can fight. And let's go ahead and check our courtiers. Uh, to see if we have any people with good prowess here. She has eight... Um, I want to sort people by age here. There we go. Uh, you're a guest. You don't really have prowess though. Uh, what about you? 11 prowess. Uh, it's not a lot is it? Uh, what about you? 16 prowess. But can she be a champion though? I think it's male only right here. Yeah, it seems to be male only. Ah damn it. You're my strongest fighter. But unfortunately Holger. Um... The faith just doesn't allow you to fight. 
Uh, probably fortunate for you, though. Yeah, let's wait for some actual champions to show up, I guess. Uh, so we're going to have to rec retreat for now. Uh, let's recover from our wounds and our losses. We can't win every battle. Um, however, we are still winning the war. Um, so I think if we go and replenish, we should be okay. Uh, it's not over yet, uh, as they say. Right, uh, have our armies all uh, retreated now? Uh, it looks like it. One of our champions has arrived. Uh, let's go ahead and see what he has. 18 prowess. You're Catholic. But right now, I need all the men I can get. Uh, pays 11 gold. I do gain stress because I'm shy, though. But what would be more stressful? Recruiting a champion or losing the war to the Swedish after both of my sons have died in the war. Um, so I think in this situation, it does make sense to actually recruit him. Uh, so let's recruit him. I'm also going to go into my champion screen here. Uh, my son is allowed. Uh, my marshal, we're going to force you to be a champion. There we go. My nephew, you can be a champion. Uh, look at this. Very good prowess. Uh, my nephew here as well can be a champion. Uh, these guys are just keep on and allowed. Their prowess isn't too good though. Uh, but we need them. Right. So all of our units are replenishing. What I'm going to do here, uh, they're not actually all uh, back here yet. Let's wait for them to reach the island. There we go. And if I go ahead and spread them out, they should all get reinforcements. No, that's not our land, is it? We should bring them over to Ireland. If we go ahead and spread them out here, um, I think supply should be okay. And we can also get some replenishment. Well, I also noticed we also need some more commanders. Uh, we don't have a commander for this army. Uh, let's see. Supply duration plus 100%. That could probably be useful. Let's go ahead and do that. My half-brother is now joining the war as a commander as well. So let's go ahead and move our men back over into our land. We can hopefully get some more levies raised and such. And everything should be okay. Uh, we're actually being sieged over here. I don't think we're going to join this now, are we? Uh, we're not. So I think we will gain some supplies now as well. Uh, my grandson, Maximos, has been impressed with one of the household champions for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, he has been repeating the warrior's words to himself. Work hard and you can master anything. Uh, indeed, hard work will bring him where he wants. Maximus does not shy away from hard work, so he's now diligent. Uh, there we go. And my patriarch has made me lose some piety. Um, thanks for that. We're not taking attrition. I think supplies are increasing. We keep an eye on this. Uh, 41 supplies. Uh, there we go. Uh, we are replenishing our supplies as well as our men. Uh, champion has arrived. Let's go ahead and look at him. 18 prowess. He is Catholic. But once again, we desperately need more champions. Um, so let's go ahead and recruit him as well. Uh, we are getting very stressed. We need to keep an eye on that. However, uh, as I said... Um, what would be more stressful, um, losing the war or recruiting new champions? We're going to raise some more men here and then we're going to merge these two armies. There we go. Uh, just so we can get those new champions, uh, amongst our ranks. We're waiting for our levies to replenish. Once we have that, we should be okay. Where's all of our allies? 2,000 there, 2,000 there. Maybe they should go replenish as well. In our recent communication, my vassal, High Chiefess Anleif, expressed a want to focus on her ambitions and interests more. I could make sure that our coming letters contain more on a topic close to her heart. Let's see. Uh, she's an honourable conciliator. Conciliator, sorry. Hmm... Oh, look at her learning. Uh, I believe nothing entices her like a good book. I do think that one would be very fitting. Her learning is very good. Now, we look at this. Oh, wow, they heavily outnumber us. Of course, Sweden can just get reinforcements here. Maybe the time has come to check mercenaries. We could hire... No, we can't. We don't even have enough gold for mercenaries. 
Ah, this is all very troubling, isn't it? Uh, 5,000, 8,000. Let's say, let's call that 9, 13. That's a lot of men up there. We just don't have the numbers to deal with that. However, we might be able to kill enough of them before the others reinforce. However, I don't feel like we can. Oh, dear. And King Helgi's health... His health is absolutely fine. He's not going to be dying anytime soon. Oh no, King Helgi, sorry. Yeah. Oh, his health is poor. Oh, please die. <laughs> that would be beautiful timing. Right. We're, we're going to have to replace, re wait for some more replenishment. We just don't have the numbers. Uh, in her response, my vassal High Chief Dun Anleif encouraged my slight dip into more personal topics. Now I just have to keep pretending while I know anything about scholarship. Uh, let us speak more. There we go. Uh, she does gain some opinion on me. Uh, so that's good as well. Right. Looking at this. I think if we wait just a tad longer we should be fine. Uh, what is my marshal doing? Garrison size, levy size and reinforcement rate is up. I think we have to keep him on that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can declare wars. I don't want to be declaring wars right now. Ah, my house members were joined. So that's 800 soldiers there. These guys won't join. Those 800 soldiers could actually be really useful. Um, of course, I should join you in this war. Our foe shall learn to fear the men of Kent. Excellent. Uh, so Kent is actually going to join the war as well. A faction has now disbanded as well, which is good. And Leif has also been swayed. Uh, that's good as well. So where is Kent? Kent is down here. When these men arrive, I think we might actually begin the march towards Sweden once again. Uh, Ormond is under siege. Um, that's not our war though. Um, what are the Welsh doing over there? A new champion has arrived. 16, he's insular Gaelic. What's my stress? Ah, we need him though. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit him as well. 20 gold to Urk. Uh, Urk is also going to join us. And then what I'm going to do here. Um, can I raise him or will he automatically join? I think he automatically joins an army maybe. Um, so that's good as well. Uh, faction created against us. The Elder of Suffolk has given rise to the peasant rabble targeting us. Oh dear. Uh, that's just what we need right now. Uh, peasant rebellions as well. Uh, we're still winning the war. In general. However, that war score is ticking down. And it's only going to get worse the longer the war goes on. Right. It looks like the enemy is on the move. And I think we basically have as many soldiers as we're going to get here as well. We are fully replenished though. We have plenty of supplies. And they're actually going towards our lands. Oh dear. Uh, we need to try and catch them now. I think we need to siege back even. Oh, they just sieged us. That's why. I think we should go towards them for another attack. Maybe we can get a victory here. Um, I'm unsure. Some of the men are moving away. Uh, my injured vassal, my vassal Mayor Sinek, has been wounded. And his flesh has contracted foulness and swelling. If the right kind of tweet, uh, treatment is administered, and Jesus is merciful, he should make it. There is nothing that can be done. So he is severely injured. This character has been severely injured, and the road to recovery could be a long one. Uh, helping us in the, the wars there. I really don't think we should attack here. Hills, hills, hills. We should wait for them, maybe. So we're the defending army. Oh, that's a lot of men. Sweden was also gaining reinforcements this whole time, weren't they? It's a tough one. I don't know what to do. Um, we need some smart positioning. We need their armies to split up. They are running low on supplies, which is good to see. Uh, we can negotiate alliances. Munster, they would only bring 79 soldiers. Only 300 soldiers hit my son. How come you have... My son has inherited... My player heir has inherited some land as well. Okay. Um, 
Uh, we could really do with these forces split up, couldn't we? We need to be smart and tactical about this because we don't have the numbers. Now, they are committing to some sieges. Ah, look. It looks like 3,000 of them are going to leave the main army. So, if we wait for them to retreat... And they're coming straight back. Interesting. We might be able to get a victory in here. Um, let's see. If we do this, maybe we can kill enough of them in time. Or we could even go to this army here. No, because we have to go through. We have to fight this army here, I believe. And maybe we have just enough time to squeak out a victory. We're going to try it. The Battle of Lomond is underway. Can we kill enough of them? So by the time their reinforcements arrive, we can win the win the battle. We are wounded once again. Uh, our physician doing a very good job. And it looks like we might actually have won this battle. Despite the severe disadvantage. I think we've done it. We have victory. Yes. <laughs> Not the war, but a battle. This is going to be a long war. Ah, uh, the beating. What in the world has happened to my grandson, Maximus? He is all bruised and beaten, and he refuses to name who did this to him. Was it an older child, or did he pester a noble to the point of fury? If so much as pin drops, uh, Maximus will be running for the safety of an empty closet. The poor boy seems to live in constant fear. Hmm... Unfortunately, Maximus is now a craven. Maximus does not enjoy being challenged or scared at all. Uh, run, hide, and never give your foes a chance to hurt you. Unfortunately, uh, my grandson's a coward. Oh, dear. Uh, so, the Battle of Lomond was a victory. Now, uh, we killed one of their vassals. One of our... Oh, my player Aaron's son was wounded. We wounded three of their champions. Wounded one of ours. We killed one of theirs. Two of ours. Three of us. Four of ours got wounded. Another two killed as well. We were wounded. And we've captured a prisoner too. Uh, so let's go ahead to my prisoners. And we're going to go ahead and move him to the dungeon. Just so he can't communicate any war tactics and such. And any information that could lead to a loss in the war. Right. Sadly, looking at the recording time. I think that's all we have time for today. Um, somehow, the war is still going on. We are winning it. Uh, we've been fighting a four-year war now against Sweden for the Irish conquest of the High Chieftain of Moray. And if we look at the numbers, the numbers are actually somewhat even now. So this might be the big turning point on the war. If we can have another good battle or two, I think we might just do it. But for now, we should probably go ahead and siege. But sadly, that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.